This tutorial covers the advantages and disadvantages of using iron or steel and uh, aluminium for car bodies and also looks at the other materials used in making cars and how cars have become more recyclable in recent years. You may recognize some of the cars in this picture, that was the intention. On the left top here we have the DeLorean, famous because its bodywork was made out of stainless steel. On the top right we have the Reliant Robin, whose bodywork was made out of glass reinforced plastic or fiberglass. Bottom left we have the Audi A8 and the bodywork of this car is made from aluminium. Bottom right uh, we have a Peugeot, I think a 107. And the bodywork here is made mainly out of steel, but I believe some of the panels, for example, the front wings, are also made out of plastic. Whereas at foundation level, you need to be able to just describe or name some of the advantages and disadvantages of building car bodies out of steel or out of aluminium, at higher level, you need to be able to explain or evaluate these advantages and disadvantages in terms of the um, advantages to the car owner. These advantages and disadvantages uh, centre on three main aspects or differences between the aluminium and the steel. Those being the difference in cost, the difference in corrosion and the difference in density. Steel is used for most car bodies because it's much cheaper per kilogram than aluminium is, so the car becomes more affordable. The problem with making car bodies out of steel is that the bodywork will corrode more quickly. But nowadays car bodies are able to be protected by galvanising and by various rust proofing, uh, so much so that the Kia, for example, a uh, make of car, has a seven year warranty against corrosion. Another issue about steel cars is that they are more heavy than the same bodywork made out of aluminium. So aluminium is used for, I suppose, high end cars. Uh, because the car body will be lighter and therefore you'll get much better fuel economy. The engine isn't pushing around so much heavy metal as for a steel car. And I suppose also it will give you a better performance because it will be able to accelerate faster being lighter. Both aluminium and steel cars can be recycled but of course the aluminium car body being more expensive than the steel uh, tends to be, as I said, only for the more expensive end of the market. Apart from the bodywork being made of steel or aluminium, you'll be expected to know some of the other materials used for making cars and why those materials are chosen in terms of their particular properties. You'll also be expected to know something about the recycling of such materials. You need to know some of the materials used then in a car and some proper words for the properties of those materials. So for example the windscreen made out of glass because it is transparent and will not react with water. The seats will be uh, covered with fabric or with cloth because it's flexible. The tyres made out of rubber because they are slightly elastic so they can be uh, inflated and also they're flexible which means that they will ride over bumps. The engine block being made out of aluminium because of its low density therefore that will be making it lightweight and the wiring loom made out of uh, copper all the wires made out of copper because the copper is a very good electrical conductor and it's also flexible meaning it can be bent around the corners within the car. In fact, a typical car is made out of very many materials and this perhaps poses a problem because the car needs to be able to be recycled and therefore the more materials you have and the more that they are bolted or glued together makes it more difficult to recycle the car. Most cars, when they reach the end of their modern life, are taken to scrapyards where bits are reused by people who can't afford to buy the new parts from the main dealer. 
and then the main body is taken to a steelworks where it is uh, recycled and made into new steel for making new cars and other different things. To avoid old cars being dumped left on the side of the road, uh, and also to make manufacturers more responsible, the European Union has introduced in recent years the End of Life Vehicles Directive, which states that all cars must be recyclable. In fact, it says that by 2015, 95% of any car has to be recyclable. This is intended to make car manufacturers more responsible for the materials they use and to stop them using, for example, um, hazardous or poisonous materials in their cars. It also encourages them to use less different types of plastics and to label each of those plastics so that when the car is dismantled it's much easier to sort these and to not exactly reuse them because that might be dangerous but at least to recycle those materials to break them down and make them into new plastics for making new cars from. And of course we should be recycling the materials used in cars, it's a major industry because this saves natural resources to melt down the plastic uh, interior of a car and to make new plastic from it has got to be cheaper than making plastic from new raw materials and of course that saves the raw materials and uh, that's also a good thing. Recycling the materials used for cars forces the manufacturers to consider that at the design stage and it also will save the owner paying scrappage costs because the uh, responsibility for disposing of the car is moving more and more onto the manufacturers themselves. However, although parts for a car can be recycled, it's not unlikely that they're going to be reused because that would be too dangerous and one of the disadvantages of recycling cars is that they are heavily manufactured and have many many thousands of parts which would all need separating out and that would be very costly and time consuming. Often we use the words iron and steel in an almost interchangeable way. Both of them will rust, uh, corrode and both of them contain iron. Iron is made from iron ore, which is a rock which is dug out of the ground and it's made in a blast furnace. The iron that comes out of the furnace is called cast iron. That's used for things like drain covers and wood burning stoves and such things. When that cast iron is hammered into shape, for example by a blacksmith, it can be used to make gates and fences, we call this wrought iron. The problem with iron is that it's too brittle as it comes out of the furnace and if it's purified completely to make pure iron it's too soft for most uses. So most iron is made into steel by reducing the carbon content in a steelworks. So steel is an alloy of iron with a very small amount of carbon and often other metals in it like vanadium or manganese or when it's made into a stainless steel, it's got chromium in it. Steel is more useful than iron because steel is much harder than pure iron and also much stronger and it's also less likely to corrode than iron. Here's a past exam question. Look at the table. It shows some information about four metals. Those are aluminium, copper, iron and titanium. And then look at this aeroplane. Titanium is used to make this aeroplane use information from the table to explain why. Well, titanium, it's mainly used because it's the strongest. And why does the plane need to be strong? Because the plane needs... to be able to manoeuvre and will have many forces acting on it. It is also 
a low density metal. So the plane will be lightweight. Notice I've used the information from the table, but I've also tried to evaluate that information, give reasons, so using words like because or so in my answer. Iron corrodes quickly in moist air. This is called rusting. Aluminium doesn't corrode in moist air. Explain why. This is because aluminium has a surface... protective coating of aluminium oxide which is inert or unreactive. This question is about the reasons for using aluminium or steel to make a car body and it asks you to give an advantage and a disadvantage of using aluminium instead of steel. It tells you already that aluminium won't corrode so we can't use that one. So an advantage of using aluminium means that it, it's low density, means it will be lightweight, so better fuel economy. A disadvantage of using aluminium is it is more expensive. than steel, so the car would cost more. So in each case, use the information from the table about the properties, but also evaluated it to say what the advantage or disadvantage to the car owner would be.